What's going on everyone? Josh here. Just wanted to share with you something that I thought was amazing. I actually saw a portfolio site for a Salesforce admin and a developer. And I wanted to share with you just something that I think could be really amazing for you to see what this looks like, how, you know, how to actually create this online portfolio that can land you jobs. And so I was, I got this from an email that I got from Salesforce Republic. So if you, of course, if, if you like their stuff, you can always follow their newsletter and you'll get cool emails like this, or you can join my email list at tech-ology.co. And when you do that, I'll, I'll always be sending you videos like this or things like this. But basically this is to help you. If you're wondering, I'm a newer dev, how do I show that I know what to do? I want to show you this. So check this out. This is Sultani. I hope it's saying his name right, his developer portfolio. So this is just a Salesforce org that he has, or he made through, you can even make it through a uh, trailhead. And yeah, so I, let me just show you what this looks like. So if you're an employer, you're wondering if someone can actually do a job, This you land on here, what do you see? And that's what I wanna walk you through. Okay, first thing I see, I love the branding. I love the colors. I see the guy, great. I see the certifications, amazing, cool. So he is certified. See his speak. I scroll down. He has a, a calendar app. This is a link to his trailhead. He's a ranger. Cool. And I can see some extra links down here that actually make sense. I want to know about him, right? So I can click on the about me button. Hello, my name is Abdul Sultani. I'm sorry. I forgot. His, I thought Sultani was his first name. But anyways, he was born and raised in Afghanistan. Some stuff like that. Hoping to move to a better life. Awesome. Tells you his whole story right here. Some of his favorite quotes. Great. Let's check out some of his experience. So here's his professional summary, sort of his like blurb, his tell me about yourself type of thing. And then we look back, where does he, where is he working from? I love the web design in the background here, this like gray thing. And then you get to see it's clearly organized where he's been working, what he's doing, how he's hoping to land a job. You can take a look at some of his education as well. You can see he was in the Salesforce Salesforce Pathfinder program. And so that's really rad, but my favorite part was his projects. So some of you are wondering, how do I show off like these projects that I've been working on, these things that I can build, these things that I can do, like how do I do this? And this is it right here. This is so rad. So instead, sometimes you can't let people into your Salesforce org because there's an intention, there's a super private information there. But what you can do is you can show how you built these things here. So look, so you can see he has a 2020 presidential election tracking platform and he's obviously pulling things in from like an API and he's pulling in this information and that's really rad. Here's some, what is it, pills? I forgot what these are called, but yeah, so that, that's cool. So obviously this is a lightning app, right? Awesome. Oh, and then, oh, here's some of the apps up top. Sorry, I was clicking on the wrong thing. And then he has a job search portfolio here where he, he created a cool login screen. And then here it is, like he's... He has a job opportunity at system. He's a system analyst intern, resume and cover letter, application submitting, interviewing, job offer. Like he obviously can create, change, change the flows of opportunities and different things like that. That's awesome. He, he can do this customization. And then Parker Pizza, where he's created some dashboards up here to really help them track their quarterly performances. Now this may, these may or may not be actual real businesses, but I, I know that these are his because they're on his portfolio. So if you've ever wondered, how do I display my projects and portfolios? Great. Some tips I would do as well is I would do a screen capture. You can use a software like OBS to just do that easily. There's plenty of tutorials on how to do that. And Google just, or Macs have built-in stuff. Anyways, you, you can do some searching on that. I would have a video tutorial that's doing exactly what I'm doing here. Hi, this is my app. This is my election 2020 app and I built it. And here's this and I pulled in some photos and I'm displaying them and these are lighting web components. This is a lighting data table where I'm attached to an API and I'm pulling in information. Like something like that is I would totally walk through and, and I think people will be able to see, oh my gosh, like this is a developer portfolio. So that's what I would do as well. The other thing I would do is I would also have a link. I would also create a link on these pages, maybe like a big thing like view on my GitHub. And so I'd click through to your GitHub portfolio. And then on your GitHub portfolio, I'd be able to actually take a look at the code that you wrote so that I can judge it and see if you're worth hiring as a developer. But yeah, if you're an admin and, you, and, and you're trying to show off your projects, your super badges make things stand out really important, I think this is an amazing piece. And even if you just had a home and a projects, he decided to put basically his whole resume on here. And uh, yeah, and so I think, it's, uh, I think it's awesome and great. So I'm sharing it because I saw this on this, I, I saw this 
on this website here, Salesforce Republic. And, and I got their email and I was like, oh, great. And I, I'm taking a look at this. This is, and this kind of impressed me. I've never seen anyone do this in the Salesforce space in a way that I'm, that I would recommend. And this, I saw this and I was like, I recommend, I'm recommending this. So also I hope this helps, this helps Abdul land his first job, his first role in, in Salesforce. So anyways, that's just a quick overview of that. And hopefully this was helpful to you of what you can do, how you can build this, how you can make this all work for you. Before I go, um, if you want to see me build a real life developer portfolio, and you want to build tutorials around that, let me know. I'd love to do that with you guys. So I just want to make sure there's enough buzz around that and, and people are interested in that, that they'd actually watch it because it'd be a lot of work, ton of work. All right. That's enough for me. You guys have a great rest of the day.